What's going on YouTube? So today's video, I wanted to give you some specific reasons as to why I believe you should not take political advice from Hollywood actors and actresses. Not all of them, but the majority of them and also high profile athletes, football players, baseball, basketball, the whole nine yards. Now, you can listen to the advice. Some of them do have some points, but I would say the vast majority, you want to take it with a grain of salt and don't take their word for gospel. Uh, one of the main fundamental problems with these high profile athletes with, and, and actors and actresses in Hollywood is that they're kind of out, out of touch with reality. Uh, Oprah Winfrey as well. Uh, these influencers, they have often a God complex. Uh, because they have so many fans, followers on social media, and because they often are worshipped by these fans, and they're so used to hearing the word yes, 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 whatever they say, it gets, it, you know, they, they don't really get any brush back. And you also got to also got to realize when you're that popular and you have a, a, a crew that's on your payroll, they're paid to listen to what you have to say. So like Britney Spears, right? She'll have a personal assistant if she wants some extra drugs. I'm not, she's actually pretty clean now. So I wish her the best, but she had that rough patch shaving her head and all that. But if she wants something and she has a personal trainer and that personal trainer is supposed to get her to work out and she has a bad day, can that, is that personal trainer going to start holding her accountable? He's Maybe, but he might be scared that she has a bad day and she could just fire him, you know? So this is what I'm saying, you know? But anyway, regarding these athletes and these um, people in Hollywood, yeah, they have this God complex and they're out of touch with reality. Like, for instance, they're, um, they always, the majority of them are all about socialism. They're like, a lot of them have good intentions, but I think they just are not educated on the topic. Socialism, socialism, socialism. You know, we, we have to help everyone. You have to help everyone. But even if that is the case, it doesn't, it won't, if you went to all, if we went, if you went to all out socialism in America, it wouldn't affect the people in Hollywood because they made their millions already. Even if they give a lot of their tax money to help other people, which sounds good on paper, um, they're still set for life, the majority of them. But if you apply it to the working class citizen, a lot of us are already getting taxed already. The, the rich, rich people find a lot of tax loopholes. The poor people don't have any money, so you can't tax them because they have no money. So who gets hit the most? It's the middle and upper middle class, which is going to be eventually non-existent, especially if you go to socialism. It's gonna be, there's going to be class dissolve, uh, no chance of uh, innovation. Uh, less chance of innovation. The phone that I'm using to record this video, it probably wouldn't have exist. Steve Jobs wouldn't exist probably under socialism. But I don't want, this is not just about socialism, but you catch what I'm saying. So they're out of touch with reality. Um, take for example, I'll give you an example, like Alyssa Milano, she wants to defund the police. She got really pissed off with the Black Lives Matter thing. Once again, she might have some good intentions with it, but with defunding the police, who is it going to affect the most? If she has all these millions of followers and people say, yeah, Alyssa Milano says defund the police. I'm pissed off because George Floyd died and he shouldn't have died the way he did. And I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he deserved it. Uh, but if she's influencing all these people, you got to remember, let's say they do defund the police. There's no funding and you call 911 and you're on hold for 30 minutes and there's someone in your house. It's not going to affect her because she has tons of money. She may say defund the police for the masses, but she has a lot of money. So she has the luxury of being in a gated community. She has the luxury to have private guards. If it ever got to the point where the people were roaming crazy, which it actually already has happened, you know, in the past, recent past with Seattle and Portland. But if they were running down and knocking down on her door, she'd be the first one to call the police. Or if there was no police, she'd be the first one on her payroll to have multiple guards, you know she would, with guns. And all these Hollywood people are anti-gun. They'd be the first one to either have a gun or hire people to have guns. Oh, you wanna take away our guns? But if it's my house, please protect me with the gun. Please, sir. Please, security officer. Please, police officer. See what I mean? Harrison, Fol Harrison Ford, John Travolta, environmentalists, right? They wanna save the planet. 
they are they have private jets and they fly to and from back and forth back and forth back and forth admitting all this you know i'm not a environmentalist i'm not 100 percent knowledgeable on you know it's a work in progress but it's 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 a contradiction it's a contradiction um Athletes. I don't think athletes, high-profile athletes, are as bad as Hollywood. I think Hollywood. They, I think they're more narcissistic. Not to say the athletes are. I think the the athletes are just more in this bubble because you spend so much time, you know, in your craft to reach the highest level, which I truly respect. Football, baseball, basketball. These are the top top athletes, so they're very focused on that. So when they they're in that bubble, the only source of information they have is like the mainstream media, and because the mainstream media and in general, everything is controlled by the left. The majority, they're just going to go along with what the majority of people say. And the problem with that is that even though you have good intentions, is that the bigger the following you have, the more of an influence you can have, both positive and negative. So, for instance, I have a very small channel, but if I were to have a bigger channel, I need to be extremely uh, more cognizant and aware of what I'm going to say. Because, yes, I can maybe apologize and take it back, but it's it the damage could be already be done so take for example um i'll make i'll make this last example and then depart lebron james he had stated that um that every african he's, he was trying to speak for every african-american that every day they wake up and they feel like they're gonna get killed by a white cop when the data does not support that you know last year in 2019 um nine unarmed black people died from cops 19 unarmed white people died from cops, but the media doesn't want to cover that. There are over 375 million interactions in America between us, any civilian and the cops. And of that, nine unarmed, and the percentage of that is like 0. 0.00001 you know, one, uh, or whatever. Um, not to say there aren't bad cops. I'm not condoning it, but to say that it's systemic try to keep I try to stay on topic to say it's systemic and to blink to make a blanket statement like that is irresponsible and I don't even think uh, LeBron believes that he kind of had this smirk on his face if you look up the clip it was like a couple of uh, maybe months ago last you know LeBron James you know and all the all these NBA players and I was a big NBA fan that's one of the reasons why I don't even watch sports anymore as of now is they're all kneeling for the BLM saying you know injustice injustice and they have good intentions but somebody like LeBron James, um, when the owner of the Houston Rockets years ago said that we should be supporting the Hong Kong protesters against China, the owner of the Houston Rockets, I forgot his name, he got in trouble and LeBron called him out like he was the bad guy. Why does LeBron James call out the Houston Rockets owner about the Hong Kong protests saying, oh, you should be grateful for America and worry about this and that? Well, because China is one of the huge, one of the probably the big. They have a huge market in China. Nike, you know Nike. Hello, Nike. Just do it. Millions and millions of dollars. They make a lot of money. Stephen Curry too. I love the guy, but um, they make millions of dollars on their contract. But they make more worth advertising, and and the NBA knows they can't lose China. That's their Mark Cuban the same way. He wants to protest this, protest that, yet one of your biggest clients and all the money you're making is through China and there's a tons of oppression in China but you don't want to address that right because it's going to hit your pocketbook so these are some of the things uh, hopefully um, that I I brought to uh, fruition and it, it hopefully it makes some sense so uh, last but not least you might be saying well why would you take some advice for someone such as myself well I'm not part of that group I'm not a multi-millionaire um, not to say I can't be influenced by certain things, but I'm more objective than than I'm not gonna say defund the police and then I'm gonna be sitting there in you know uh in a big mansion, Al Pacino in uh in Scarface and have all my weapons and say no no more guns, but I get to keep mine and that's what the politicians do. The ones that wanna get rid of, you know, all the all the guns, they'll be the first ones that have private security and have guns. So take it away from us, but but my crew is going to have guns, you know. So this is just the hypocrisy. And it goes along with, like, uh, with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Oprah, as well. She had mentioned that she's uh, oppressed. And um, 
I would love to be oppressed with her. You know, she's one of the most richest and most successful um, African Americans or people in just in general outside of race. And if she can make it, anyone can make it. Yet she still perpetuates the idea that um, all blacks or the majority of blacks are being oppressed, and it's just completely a contradiction. Uh, same thing with um, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama, but I don't want to get too political with that. So that's my time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was informative. Let me know your guys and gals' thoughts. Um, if you uh, if you take Hollywood and or ex-athletes or athletes in general, if you take their advice and you take it seriously or not. That's my time. Bye.